Hi everyone. I thought today I would make a quick video about my paint by number yet again. I know I've done a few of these so far. So I think at the last, the end of my last video, I talked about how I was going to start doing touch-ups on my painting just in the areas that kind of needed a little more coverage. Since then, I decided I wasn't going to do touch-ups. I was just going to do a second layer of paint on everything because once I started putting that second layer on, it just made it look a lot more vibrant, um, a lot more consistent. Like you couldn't see the brush strokes quite as much. Some of these lighter colors like this kind of mustardy yellow, like no matter how many layers I put, they're still a little bit streaky. But as long as you can't see the number through, I think I'm okay with that. So I've done almost all of this painting on my second layer. I think it's looking really good. Um, all I have left is this corner right here. And so I thought since I was having a little bit of difficulty telling where I painted on this background. I thought I'd show you a little something I came up with to kind of keep track of where I was. So I just, I think I started sort of in the middle and um, just went out from there and then kind of around. And pretty quickly, since the background was already painted blue, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to tell where I'd painted and I'd miss spots. So as I painted I kind of looked where my boundary of the painted area was and I got these little pieces of it's like red washi tape paper tape it's not super super tacky something with light tack is what you want for this and I would just kind of put a little piece of red tape in the areas I hadn't painted around the areas that I had if that makes sense so definitely you want something that's not going to stick to your painting permanently so you can kind of see where I've done that here. So you might think that, oh, she's got this red, this little piece sectioned off here. So you can see I've got my one, two, three, four, five pieces of tape, which actually you would think maybe, oh, she's done this corner and these are all the areas that she still needs to do. It's actually opposite of that. So as I moved around, I just moved my pieces of tape around to mark the areas that I needed to get into next. And so these are marking off that I haven't done this area. So anything beyond the tape is where I haven't done it. So I think I'm going to get to work on finishing this painting up. And so if you'd like to join me, I think I will work on that now. that is done. So I got this whole top corner done. It looks like everything is covered in that second layer of paint. I'm just looking for any spots that are still a little patchy, but it looks really good to me. So that's all of the painting. Um, I think for this section, I used my medium brush pretty much the whole time. I think I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but I've kind of, this has become my primary brush, this medium one that came with the kit. So I use that for everything in this section, except for around these little dots, which I used the more fine brush just because I wanted to make sure I wasn't covering over other dots. So that's why I wanted to use the skinnier one. But I feel like that medium brush is a really good all purpose brush. And I really do use it a lot in this kit. So that is all for the painting on this one. Um, this kit actually came with a mounting set. So it's like a wooden bar that goes across the top and the bottom. And so I'll probably pop in for another video on that. But as far as this painting goes, I think I'm about done. And so I love how it looks and I'm excited to get it mounted and up on my wall. All right, well, thanks for joining me. Bye.